Good morning, everyone. Welcome to chapel. I'm Pastor Glenn. I'm glad you're with me today to share this time of singing some songs and praying some prayers and uh, listening to a Bible story. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Thank you for joining me. Let's sing our friend song. Are you ready? I want to be a friend of yours and a little bit Go ahead and leave a comment so I know you're here and I can say hi to you. And thank you for joining me on Preschool Chapel on this Wednesday morning. Such a beautiful day outside. Let's sing our beautiful day song. Shall we do that? You ready? It's a beautiful day and I thank God for the weather. It's a beautiful day. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for chapel. Thank you for this opportunity to get together around a screen and to share some songs and prayers and Bible stories. Thank you for the children and their families. Bless them, watch over them, keep them safe, and uh, just bless our time together this morning. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's sing one, two, three. Are you ready? Hi, Mrs. Whiskus. One, two, three. Jesus loves me. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and see. 
There we are. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Emily. Thanks for joining me today. All right. It's good to be here on a Wednesday morning, a beautiful Wednesday morning. Let's see. How about we sing the fruit of the Spirit? You ready? Oh, everybody sing. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, for the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, uh, let's see, what other kind of fruits can we sing about? How about a banana? You ready? banana you might as well hear it you can't be a fruit of the spirit for the fruit is love joy peace patience kindness good and faithfulness gentleness and self-control love joy peace patience kindness good and faithfulness gentleness and self-control let's see what other kinds of fruit can we sing about anybody have an idea anybody have a suggestion of a fruit we can sing about I'll just sit here and, and, and strum my guitar and wait to see if somebody suggests the fruit. Let me think. I think a pineapple would be fun to sing about. You ready? Here we go. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. The fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. If you want to be a pineapple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit for the fruit. Somebody has suggested papaya. I wonder who that could have been. Let's try that. You ready? Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a papaya. The fruit of the Spirit's not a papaya. If you want to be a papaya, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit for the fruit is love, joy, peace, faith, kindness, good, and faithfulness. Papaya makes me want to stutter a little bit, doesn't it? I want to say papaya and hello there. <laughs> hello there. All right, that's fun. I like that. Let's see. I've got other comments and I have to scroll down for some reason. So let me see who else has commented. Hey, Mr. Garvin, nice to join. Nice of you to join us today. All right. <clears throat> Let's sing a nice quiet song and get ready for our story. Are you ready? How about Jesus Loves Me? Ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Very nice singing. Thank you all for that. I'm ready for our story. How about you? How about you, Fuzzy Wuzzy Bear? Are you ready for our story? Fuzzy Wuzzy's holding our storybook. And so thank you, Fuzzy Wuzzy, or Bruno, as we sometimes call him. Hi, kids. Thanks for joining us today. Let's see here. We have a wonderful story today. It's called The Warrior Leader. And it's in this storybook, the Jesus Storybook Bible. If you have it at home, and many of you do, go find it and follow along with me. The story begins on page, a very small printing, page 108. 108, 108. See if you can find that real quick 
and join me. And I'll show you the pictures, but you might want to look at them longer uh, in your own book. And follow along. Look at the words, too. Are you ready? The warrior leader. Wow. I'm going to have to take my glasses off because the, the light I'm looking at is so bright it makes my eyes all spotted. After Moses died, God gave his people a new leader. His name was Joshua, which means the Lord saves. Joshua was going to lead God's people into the special land God had promised to give them. By this time, God's people had been wandering around in that baking desert for 40 years. So you can imagine how sick they were of sand and anything yellow and tents and walking and being hot and how happy they were to reach the edge of the desert and to see their beautiful new home right there in front of them all cool and green and lovely, there was only one problem, Jericho. Jericho was a city, but it wasn't any old city. It was a fortress, and it stopped anyone from getting into the land. The people looked at Jericho, at the big, giant, scary walls all around it, and the tall, towering ramparts, at the, heavenly, at the heavy iron gates bolted shut, at each other, Ooh, look at that picture of Jericho. That looks scary. That looks like it's hard to get into, doesn't it? We'll see what happened. What would they do? No one knew, but God knew, and God told Joshua what to do. But Joshua must have looked surprised because it was a very old, a very odd battle plan indeed, as we'll soon find out. Then God made his people a promise. I will always be with you, and I will never, ever leave you. If you do what I say, your lives in the new land will be happy, and everything will go well. So Joshua gathered his army together. They had their swords and their spears and their shields. They were ready to fight. But the plan wasn't about fighting. It was about trusting and doing what God said. Joshua's army went marching, marching, marching around the city day after day after day. They're too scared to fight, the people in Jericho thought. See the picture of the, of the city and all of the army people around it? I bet they were scared. But, when, but they were wrong. God's people weren't scared. They were waiting, waiting for God to tell them what to do next. On the seventh day, God told his people to march around the city, not once, but seven times. Then God told everyone to make such, so much noise, to make as much noise as they could. Has anyone ever told you to make as much more noise as you possibly could? I don't think so. That would be odd. Well, imagine that noise and add 39,999 other people making that noise too. And you get the idea. It was ear-piercing, ear-splitting. It hurt. And as it turned out, stone-splitting, too, because the huge stone walls of Jericho just crumbled to the ground as if they were made of sand. Jericho vanished in a great cloud of dust. Oh, my goodness, do you see that? That must have been spectacular. So that's what God's people, that's how God's people entered their new home. And they didn't have to fight to get in. They only had to walk. Joshua said, God has brought you safely here. Now, will you do what he says? Everyone said, we promise. Only God can make your heart happy, Joshua said. So don't pray to pretend gods. No, they said, never. I'm afraid they didn't keep their promise. They didn't do what God said, and many years later, just as God warned them, things would go badly for God's people. They would lose their home. Enemies would capture them and take them off as slaves, and God's people would scatter into many different lands. But God's plan was still working. One day, he would give his people another leader and another home, and this home no one could ever take from them. See that picture? So that's the story about Joshua, the warrior leader. 
That was a neat story, huh? That was fun. I like that story. Did you like that story, Fuzzy Wuzzy? Here, you can hold the book some more. All right. He's my buddy. He's my helper on chapel days. It's always good to have a buddy. Always good to have a helper. Don't you think so? I think so. All right. What song should we sing? Mrs. Tillicue is sitting here in the sanctuary. What song should we sing, Mrs. Tillicue? It's a beautiful day. We already sang that. You missed it. Uh, okay, you, you lose. Miss, <laughs> Mrs. Cave, what song should we sing? It's a beautiful day. We sang that already. My goodness, you people. <laughs> you, you have to tune in more, more, more frequently. All right, all right, let's sing it. It is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, and I thank God for the weather. It's a beautiful day. so much for joining me today kids let's let's say a prayer and then we'll say goodbye until next week okay let's pray dear god thank you for this beautiful day thank you for this beautiful time to be together in chapel thank you for the songs we love to sing and the story that we heard today thank you for each family each household that's represented today and who are watching later today also bless us watch over us keep us safe and help us to stay uh, true to your word today we pray in jesus name Amen. Well, folks, that's chapel for this week. See you next Wednesday at 1045. Don't forget and tell your friends so that they can tune in too. So glad to be with you today. God bless you. God watch over you. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye now.